Hello, hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, hello. Good evening. Are you ready for your English class? Solo le vamos a dar unos cuantos minutos a los que no se han incorporado. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I would like for us to look at the first section. We are supposed to be completing already section number three. So we're going to go ahead and look at section number 3.0, lesson objective. In this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation will illustrate yes, no questions and WH questions, which we will learn in the future lessons. En esta clase escucharán una conversación titulada Eres de Seoul. Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuestas sí, no y las preguntas interrogativas, las cuales aprenderemos en futuras lecciones. Hi, to all. Hello, hello, Jaime. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. All right, so in this activity, what you are going to do How is you yes, are going no, to write and WH questions are a used. similar conversation.
Okay, so right here, what I want you to do is you are going to write here in the discussion forum, you are going to write a similar conversation, similar conversation like this one. You're going to write the conversation here in the discussion forums. Do you understand? Yes? Okay. Let yes. me, I would like for everybody to please repeat after me. Are you from California, Jessica? Are you, Are you from California, from California, California Jessica? Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. Well, well my, my family, family is in California, California now. now. But we're from Korea originally. But we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. Oh, my mother is Korea from Seoul. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the Jean. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Jeon. So, is your first language Korean? So, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. You're going to write a similar conversation. You're going to write a similar conversation here on the discussion forum. Any questions? No. No. All right. Now, we're going to work in pairs for this activity. We are going to work in pairs for this activity. Ready? Let's go. Ok, veamos si lo podemos hacer en la plataforma entonces, porque yo lo hago desde mi teléfono. ¿Se lo hace la computadora? Sí, sí. una conversación y sería entonces eh, como que hacemos en Mario Juárez y Néstor ¿verdad? Néstor Díaz ¿Quién, okay. quién pregunta y quién contesta Ok, hagámosla. Mario pregunta. Ok. ¿Sí? Yes. Okay. Entonces eh, sería. Y no. Are, are y no puede are, mandar. Are you from? Sí. Eh, como hay que cambiarle, ponemos, ponemos. 
de aquí del país, lo podemos hacer así. Sí, sí aquí pongámosla. Are you from San Salvador? No, eso sería el, Sal el Salvador. El Salvador, ok. Salvador. Eh, porque ahí pregunta después eh, de qué parte del Salvador. Ok, ok. Eh, eh, you are from El Salvador en eh, mayo. Néstor, eh, uh, uh, um, según el ejemplo decía. Uh, where, where my family uh, is the California. O sea, el ejemplo decía, where are you from California? California. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, de ahí contaba, where my family, for mi familia where, where es... my family uh, is, is como in California que, now, uh, pero... Pero... Ok, pongámosle... Where, originario de Corea. Ajá, uh, where, where my family in... in, in live, live in... En El Salvador, now. Cuando nos pregunten, podemos ponerle Guatemala. Ajá. Family. Is. In El Salvador. Now. Um, but we're uh, but we're from All right, guys, I know that you are not finished, but that is going to be your homework. If you are not finished, it is going to be your homework. Okay. Okay. Sí, porque no terminamos, teacher. Yeah, that's going to be your homework. In this class, okay. you will learn okay. how to form negative statements and yes, no questions with the be verb. En esta clase aprenderán cómo formar oraciones negativas y preguntas con respuesta, si no usando el verbo ser. Listen, please. Take notes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be, you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say, I'm not from New York, rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. 
Now let me talk about making questions with B. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Are, no, we're not. All right, now for this activity, what we are going to do is we're going to come over here to the discussion forum and I want you to give me five examples using the structure verb to be subject and complement all right for example let me give you some examples Are you a student? Yes, I am. Number two, is Mr. Santos your teacher? Yes, he is. Are you happy? Yes, I am. All right, I want you to give me five examples with the question and the B verb and the response. And then you will submit. Any questions? Any questions? No. All right, in pairs. Ready, let's go. Hello, Erica. Hello, Israel. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. I'm going to put you in pairs right now at this moment. Give me just a second. Se, se me regresó o ya se acabó el tiempo. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to recreate the groups because we have new students. One moment, please. Okay. <laughs> 
Hi, Veronica. Hi, Mario. Good night. Vamos a hacer good night. Hello, Veronica. Hi, Nestor. Hello. Hi, Alejandra. Hi. How are you? Hi, hi Nestor. Hi. All right. I guess everybody's back. We're going to go ahead and work in pairs one more time. Give me just a second. Sorry. Hola, hola, hola. Give me Hi. one second. Let's go. Okay, now. Yo ya tenía una pregunta que era, are you beautiful? Okay, we're going to do the groups again, Alejandra. We're going to change partners. Okay. Uh, you are working with Alejandra. You are working with Alejandra Beatriz Calderón. Okay. Las dos sales. Eh, solo usted no ha entrado a la sesión. Ay, perdón, perdón. Ya entendí. Aquí está. Perdón. Gracias. Yes. Okay. Are you? Are you chef? Mm, yeah. La respuesta sería otra. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. eh, puede ser Arjumon, no sé. Mm. Que si eres mamá, si tú eres mm -hmm. mamá, sí. Are you mother? Sería la mamá. No. ¿Y ¿Responderíamos en, en negativo o positivo? No sé si ponemos, tendríamos que poner un ejemplo negativo y uno, uno en positivo o en afirmativo. No, no, no. No dijo nada. Uh, you can. You can if you want to. It's okay. Se puede, se puede. Yes, of course. Okay. ¿Y cómo sería, teacher, para poner no, no, no I, I'm not. not? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Thank you. The three are you. Are you singer? Perdón. Uh -huh. eh, la segunda es, is he your brother? No, I not. No sé, se lo puedo sacar, ¿verdad? No, ahí sería, no, he's not, ¿verdad? Sí, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, uh -huh. he's not. Um, is she a dynamic person? Yes, she is. Is ella una persona dinámica? Yes, she is. Ve, esas tres tengo. Hello. Hello. What's going on? See? Hello. Hey, brother. Hi. They, uh, Trabajando? Work? No. Are you? Como? Oh, are you doctor? Ah, también. Are you doctor? Uh -huh. Are you doctor? Uh -huh. Are you doctor? 
Es la que él dio de ejemplo. Ah, esa. Bueno, uh -huh. Are you mother? Ajá, uh -huh. are you mother? Or do... No se me ocurre otra. Are you hungry? Are you late for Santa Lucia? Are you doctor? Are you... Are you watch TV? Uh, no. no, are you watch TV? No, porque ahí está. No. Yendo, ahí estamos usando el, el presente continuo. Are you watching TV? Estás Are viendo. you watching? Uh -huh. Ok. Are you watching TV? Watching TV. Watching. Watching Okay, who can give me some more examples? Who can give me some more examples? For example, Are you Salvadorian? Are you Salvadorian? Are you Salvadorian? Dorian. Very good. Are you secretary? Are you a secretary? Are you a dentist? Secretary. All right. Are you a dentist? Are you a dentist? Okay. Are you a soccer player? Are you a soccer player? Are you hungry? Are you a soccer player? Is Mr. Santos the best teacher? Is Mr. Santos the best teacher in the world? Thank you. <laughs> no. Okay. Now you're going to move on to the next activity. And we're going to be looking at knowledge check complete the conversations write the correct words completa las conversaciones escriba la respuesta correcta conversation one hiroshi are you and michael from japan yes we are, are. oh mm, you from tokyo are you from Tokyo? Are you from? No. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Ah, no. No, we are not because it's plural. No. I No. We are not. 
We're not. We're not. We're. We're from Kyoto. From Kyoto. Conversation two. Uh, Laura from. Uh, where? No, no. Is, is, is Laura, is Laura uh, from the U.S.? No. She not. She is not. She's from uh, the U.K. She is not. Is from London? Is, is she from is London? She, yes, she. she, yes, she, she I am. Yes, is she, she is. from London? Yes, yes she, is. she is, but her parents yes, are from is. Italy. The next one? I not. I not. They not. They not. They are not from UK originally. Is, is Lara's first language Italian? No. No, I'm not. It's not. Uh, it's no, not. it's okay. not. It's not. It's English. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're from Brazil. They are from Brazil. Are, are. are you from Brazil too? No. No, I mean no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm from Peru. So are, are. is your first language Spanish? Yes, it, it, it is. Is. Good job. Hay una mala teacher. Let me see. Is, is, tendría que ser is. No. Nice nap. No, it's not. It's she's. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, she's not. Oh, so it's abbreviation. She's not. Okay. All right, let's look at 3.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will become familiar with syllable stress. Al final de esta clase, I'm going to put you on silence because there's a lot of interference. Ustedes finalizan con el acento de las sílabas. Listen, please, and repeat. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 30 14, 40, 
40. 15. 16. 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30. You'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you are going to go and you're going to go to Google and you're going to put vocaru. Vo ka ru. And you're going to record yourself saying the numbers. Right, for example. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc. Then you're going to go where it says guardar y compartir. And then you're going to copy the link. And then you're going to come here. And you're going to put add a post. You're going to put your name. And then you're going to click and write the recording. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. Go ahead. You will have a couple of minutes to do that in pairs. Ready? Let's go. Quiero más. Ah, quizás hasta el 20, del, porque estaba el 11, el 12, el 13, el 15, creo que es hasta el 20. Aunque según el en la clase, bueno, era el 13, 30, 14, uh -huh. 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. ¿Tú 60? Uh -huh, sí. Lo voy a ir llenando ya en la plataforma. Sí. No, yo digo que. <ríe> Usted sí. Es que lo que pasa es que me, el Inter no me agarra bien la máquina. Tengo que estar... uh -huh. Guardar la aplicación. Voy a probar a ver si funciona. Bueno, si lo hago bien, me habían dicho. Ajá, yo eso hago. No lo reviso. Vaya, sería 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Pero vamos a poner, a mencionar primero, 13 o, o uno por uno. Is everybody finished? No. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 
13. Hello. Hi, hi. Va con el 14, Tatiana. Hola. Hola. Hola, ti. Hola. Tiene apagado el micrófono, Rubén. Okay, sorry about that. I know, guys, that you are not finished. However, it is, uh, we have to continue because we have to finish uh, today, section three. And we also have to uh, look at the midterm exam. So I need for everybody to do it as homework. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions about the activity? No. Uh, no. Yo tengo una, una duda. De, yes, Claudia. Dentro de lo, que acabamos, sí, de, de lo que acabamos de hacer, o sea, que en la práctica que hicimos en pareja, quizá yo no entendí, pero consistía nada más en pronunciar y, y identificar los acentos en los números. ¿A eso nos íbamos a dedicar en la, en la práctica anterior? Eh, no, no. The objective was you go to Vocaru right here mm -hmm. and you record yourself. Yeah. You record yourself and then you click here and you copy the link uh, and then you put it here mm -hmm. on the platform. Mi pregunta es. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a decir ahí en ese, en, ahí, oh, en, oh, en okay. esa grabación? O sea, ¿qué yes. Es lo que vamos? Very uh -huh. good, very good question. You're going to say the numbers from number 11 uh -huh. to number uh -huh. 103. Oh. Vamos a repetir todos. That is correct. Todos vamos a grabar, ok. That is correct. Ok. Yes. Ok. Um, Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your question. All right. Thank now you. we're going to go ahead and look at 3.7 lesson objective. In this class, you will become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11 uh, So this right here is repeated. This is repeated from the previous video. So for this activity, what we are going to do is we're going to look at this conversation right here. And you are going to go to Boca Roo, And you are going to record yourself expressing the conversation. Right, this conversation. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? You're going to record yourself here. Who's that? That's my brother. Wow, he's cute. How old is he? When you finish, you're going to share it, copy it, and you're going to share it here in the discussion forum.
like that, and then submit. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. 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 All right. Let's do it in pairs. One more time. That is correct. That is correct. You're going to record yourself in Vocaroo, practicing the conversation, and then you will put it in the discussion forum. Let's go in pairs. Hola, Marcelo. Hello. Hello. Eh, ahorita vamos a grabar. Sí, ahorita hay que grabar la, la parte de la conversación. Pero si yo lo tengo en mi teléfono, ¿cómo hago aquí para grabar? Sí, creo que tendría que ser después. Uh -huh, porque recibo la clase en mi teléfono y para salirme de aquí. Sí, no sé. Sí, ahí se tendría que hacer después igual, porque eso en el teléfono. <risa> ok, pero ya sabemos cómo se hace, la verdad. Sí. Así es. Aquí voy a intentar, quiero ver si puedo hacerlo. Ahorita, desde el teléfono. Ahorita voy a ver si puedo hacerlo. Veamos. ¿Cómo se llamaba la página? Se llama Bucaro. 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 Me da acceso, pero luego para entrar a la plataforma. Ajá. Uh -uh, no, no puedo. Sí lo puedo grabar, pero luego para meterme a la plataforma. Aquí vamos a, a decir este el, los números, ¿verdad? No, acá la, la conversación, ah. el diálogo. La conversación. Ay, quiero ver. No, no puedo del teléfono. Hi, sure. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you finished? Yes. All right. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right.
let us move forward. We're going to look at lesson 3.9, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to form WH questions with B verb. En esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar preguntas interrogativas con el verbo ser o estar. We're going to watch the video and listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be. You're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be. plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's real like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, remember the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. Okay, so we're going to be looking at WH questions. questions. For and then we're going to look at these questions right here. What's your name? Who's that? Who are you they? Where are you? Where are you from? How old is he? So I want you to give me five examples of the WH questions. Here, we're gonna write it here. Let me give you an example. For example, number one, what's your name? Number two, where do you work? Number three, who is your favorite soccer player? Number four, how old are you? Number five, why are you learning English? Like that, what, where, who, how, why? Or you can select uh, where, what, how, when, okay, whichever one you want. But you got to give me five examples. And then you're going to submit it here on the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No. no. Does somebody have a question? No. no. Okay, in pairs. Give me one second.
Let's go. What? 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 Last. Last name. Okay, could be called yes, sir. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What's your last name? Eh, uh, my My last name. Así se, así se contesta. My last name is Cecilia. Oh, no, mm -hmm. no, es primer nombre. No, ay. Vaya. La segunda. No, eh, ahí sería what, what, what's your last name? What your last name es la pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, my. My last name. My last name. Uh -huh. Is is is, uh, is Diaz in in the case? Hello. Diaz in the case. Uh huh. Okay. Bye. La segunda. Eh, vamos a ver. Eh, where do you live? Está bien. Sí. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live. I live in San Salvador. Bye. ¿Cómo dijo? Where do you live? Mm. Vaya. Eh, la tercera, ¿cuál podemos poner? Go. Sería... How? Tatiana es la que está hablando. Uh, how sí. Uh, sí. <laughs> how how are you today? ¿Cuál? Dice uh, la tercera, how are you today? today? How are you... Today. How are ¿Puedo ingresar a la plataforma? ¿Patricia? No. No, igual, yo no, yo estoy igual, no puedo ingresar. Eso es lo más importante que tiene que hacer. Si no puede ingresar a la plataforma, aunque quiera continuar en el módulo, no va a poder. No, pero hasta ahora me ha dado ese problema, teacher. Ah, ok. Sí, porque ahora lo que yo quiero hacer es que terminemos la 3 para empezar la 4 y tienen que hacer el examen también. Es que la plataforma está lenta. All right, guys, uh, it's already time to go. Uh, please finish section 3. Okay. Okay, you have to finish all. Bye. Wait, wait, okay. wait, wait. <laughs> you have to finish all section 3. 
Okay. And you have to finish the midterm exam. Okay. okay. And you're going to start okay. section four Monday. Okay. Teacher, I, ha I have a quickly question. What's up? E, se puede, how many pets live in your house? O sea, that's, how many pets that's live okay. in? That's okay. How many pets live? Okay. How many pets live in your house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Live. So this is the midterm exam. You're going to do the listening. You're going to do complete the conversation, everything, everything in the midterm, right? This says midterm. All right. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Monday, teacher. Bye. Have a good night.